So up at the start, it's the women's singles international event, this Princess Royal Challenge Cup. And at the top of your picture, we've got Catherine Porter from the USA. And on this near side, we've got Samantha Voss, the Kiwi, closest to the island on the buck station. And the winner of this race will go up against Sophia Lewis, who we saw earlier this afternoon triumph in her heat of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Yeah, the single is obviously my favorite event here <laughs> at Henley Royal Regatta, uh, but it's it's such a hard race because you really have to maintain connection with your competitor. You really have to be there to counter. It's I like to say it's like a heavyweight prize fight. You have to counter and you have to be able to take advantage of any opportunity where your opponent uh, sort of makes a mistake. Well, I, I looked at the bios of the scholars. I would not have picked Catherine Porter. 25 year old to be up at this stage of the race. She rode at uh, Kent School at Brown for four years, did a fifth year at University of Virginia. She's just completed her Master's of Science in Environmental Sciences. So although she's raced at Women's Henley in 2015, she only started training the single last year. What's she doing leading the skull of the quality of Samantha Voss? Well, you know, the. Matt Pinson gave some great advice to the overseas crews, uh, race every race like it's your last. And uh, it looks like she's doing that, and this may give her an opportunity. She has control of the race right now, and uh, it's really hers to lose. So the question is whether or not Samantha Voss can, you know, stay relaxed, stay calm, and really uh, keep moving. Well, Sam Voss is trying to get into the New Zealand Olympic team. She's, she's kind of had bad luck in terms of injuries and so on. She's been knocked off a bicycle. Uh, she's actually a fantastic scholar. She beat an American, she beat Emily Kaufeltz in the World Under-23 Championship. She won gold in 2018. And I guess I just would have expected a Kiwi scholar to be right up there and a little bit more competitive in this race. And I just wonder whether everything's right with her. Well, I would have expected a U.S. scholar to be <laughs> right up there and racing very well. Um, but maybe that's just me. No, I, I think you may be right. You may be on to something. But, um, you know, there is a, a definitely seems to be a, a, a hunger. You could tell right off the start with Catherine as she just got out there, got out, got a lead, didn't really worry about the resume of her competitor and is taking control of the race. And if you let your, athlete, if you let your competitor get too far ahead, it doesn't matter if they have a, you know, if, if they have that, if you have that lead, then they may not be able to catch you. So you see the time at the back at the Fawley mark, four minutes and 20 seconds to Fawley. I guess it means that these scholars will be going down the course in just something under nine minutes. There is your fellow countrywoman, Catherine Porter. What do you like about her sculling? I like how long she's getting. She's getting right out there. She's picking up that boat. You can see that connection as she gets the oars in the water. Uh, I'd like to see her get, the, get them in just a little bit quicker mm -hmm. uh, around that catch, but overall she's nice and long hands right around that finish right there. Uh, not too much layback and just really staying nice and light. It's it's an easy stroke that she has and you want to stay relaxed. She sculls like an eight rower, I think. She's got the same dynamism that you'd see in an eight. And, uh, with Sam Voss, it just looks a little bit slower through the water. Yeah, you know, but I, I think what I've seen in the past, we've seen great uh, sweep rowers do well in the single. Uh, one of Jamie Coven, Derek Porter. There's a number of athletes that have converted, and uh, I think if you can stay light and stay relaxed in the single, look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's some great blade work there. A little bit backsplash. That's what I was talking about earlier. Maybe just being more relaxed as she as that seat comes up to the catch. Maybe just letting that oar just fall in a little bit sooner and getting that connection. But overall, uh, I can't complain with uh, with her rowing. She's out yeah. in front. Well, let's have a compare and contrast with the Kiwi Blades. She's picking it up really nicely. There's 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 a great depth to what Sam Boss is doing there. She's very flat, isn't she, in terms of uh, the way the blades come through. They're not going too deep. The thing about Kiwis, you always expect them to have a really strong third quarter. So this might be the start of the race where Samantha Voss starts pushing back on Catherine Porter, but Catherine Porter, she hasn't let up at all. She's really tried to close the door. Sam Voss is coming back a little bit into this race. You can see from those shots, Sam Voss, the Kiwi, 
Pescoa on the left. We're looking at Catherine Porter now. She's got a clear water lead over Sam Voss. Yeah. Into the enclosures. Yeah, it looks a little heavy. So the question now is, did she uh, did she just empty the tank too much to get that lead? And whether or not Sam Voss can really put in that 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 third quarter here and uh, make a dent and and, and really make a, a psychological game because with this type of lead, uh, Catherine should be able to hold on. Well, the 25-year-old American has really delivered in this. She's made this uh, tremendously challenging switch to the single skull from eight rowing. And uh, you can see the sort of water, the swirls in the water, the, the wash of the boats that she's had to contend with. And she's doing that beautifully. Look down the course and she's got a good lead on Samantha Voss, the Kiwi who is really never given up in this race. She's still going for it. Yeah, it looks like she's moving back a little bit. Uh, and the question is whether or not there uh, is enough race course and whether or not uh, Catherine still has more in the tank. Um, one of the things that we were talking about earlier is moving from the eight to, to moving from sweet to scully. And that's actually something that I did because uh, I felt as though I was, or I was told I was a little small. So uh, I had to show everyone that I could, I could wear big. This is a man who's towered over me in the commentary box. But a uh, big smile on him as he sees his countrywoman, Catherine Porter, come up to the finish line. We look out from the commentary box. Sam Voss is closing with every single stroke, but the water is going to run out for her, Catherine Porter. She must know she's got this race in the bag now as she comes up to take this heat of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Great skull from the American. Samantha Voss is nearly there, but uh, that third 500 didn't quite materialize in the way Sam Voss wanted it to. She left it late to the end. And uh, a tough afternoon's work for Porter.